Good day. So for now, we are going to discuss how to solve fixed cost, variable cost, mixed cost, and snap cost. Now for the fixed cost, this will be the illustration. ABC Manufacturing has the following monthly expenses, which present the breakdown of their factory rent and the cost of production for its three major products, namely liquid detergent, baking soda, and paper towels. The management set the ideal production or relevant range within 8,000 to 10,000 units for a given month. So here are the following given. So ang factory rent natin is, which is total fixed cost, is 100,000. So the production and units on the different um, products are the following. Liquid detergent, 8,000. Baking soda, 9,000. Paper towels, 9,500 with a relevant range of 8,000 to 10,000 units. So we have here a formula how to get the fixed cost per product. So we have total fixed cost, which is given here, 100,000 over production. So here are the following production for different products. Kay liquid, 8,000. Kay baking soda, 9,000. At saka kay paper towels, 9,500. So... To solve for the fixed cost per unit, ayan. So, ilalagay natin yung total fixed cost here, which is 100,000. Okay. So, another 100,000 in the baking soda and 100,000 for the paper towels. Okay. So, the production. We need a production per, different, per product. So, the production for liquid detergent is 8,000. Another 9,000 for baking soda and 9,500 for paper towels. Okay, so the formula here is total fixed cost divided by production. So in using Excel, okay, so all you have to do is put equal sign. After that, click the total fixed cost, which is 100,000, divided by, okay, and 8,000. Click the 8,000, okay, or the cell number. So just click enter, then you will get the, the fixed cost per unit. So same with the next product is equal sign 100,000 divided by 9,000. Just click the cell and that's 11.11, .11, the fixed cost per unit. How about the paper towels? 100,000, click the 100,000 divided by 9,500. Click enter. So there you have it. The fixed cost per unit per product are the following. Okay. So now we already know how to solve the fixed cost. Okay. How about the variable cost? So in getting the variable cost, we have this illustration. So the primary component of the best selling perfume of Kisses Incorporated is the plant substance of citrus fruits which cost of the company 5 pesos for each bottle of production. So the perfume production is being handled by the company's floor workers with associated piece rate of 6 pesos for each bottle that they produce. Also, the estimated advertising expense or overhead cost of the company is at 3 pesos per bottle. So the following is the summary of the company's incurred cost unit production for its perfume line. So we have here the production units per perfume line, the Magical, Wild, and Victoria Citrus 8, 9, and 9,500 respectively. So the variable cost per unit are the following. So maganda na naka per unit na po yung variable cost natin. Direct materials per citrus is 5. Direct labor, okay, is 6 pesos per unit. And overhead rate, which is composed of advertising expense, 3 pesos. So for a total of 14 pesos. Now we already know that our variable cost per unit is 14 pesos. Now, so how to you or solve variable cost? Here is the formula. Total variable cost is equal to production units. Ilan yung units na na-produce? Multiplied it by your variable cost per unit. Ito, itong 14 pesos. Ayan. So ilalagay natin siya doon. Okay, ilan ba yung production units natin for Magical Citrus? Ayan, 8,000. Lalagay natin 8,000. Next, for wild citrus, 9,000. At saka kay Victoria citrus is 9,500. 
Now, magkano ba yung variable cost per unit natin? Ayan, binigay na siya. Direct materials, 5. Direct labor, 6. And aka overhead is 3. A total of 14 pesos. So, 14 pesos po yung variable cost per unit natin. Okay. Now, how to get the total variable cost? So, ito po yung formula. Production in units times variable cost per units. So, when we are computing using Excel, just put equal sign again. Then, click the 8,000. Multiply by this variable cost per unit or 14 pesos. Then, click enter. Okay. So, the total variable cost of Magical Citrus is 112,000. Next, equal sign for the Wild Citrus 9, click the 9,000, multiply, multiply sign 14, 14 pesos is equals to 126,000. Now for the Victoria Citrus, equal sign pa din using Excel, click the 9,500 times 14 is equal to 133,000. There you have it. So ito po yung total variable cost natin per product okay, for the magical wild and victoria citrus okay so let's proceed to the next part <clears throat> we have here a mixed cost okay so if you could see the graph etong straight line na to represents the fixed cost meaning hindi siya nag-change regardless of the volume production changes pero kapag variable siya this blue line represents the variable Meaning, in every volume, increase in volume, in, uh, in every increase in volume, nag increase din yung cost niya in pesos. So, straight line is fixed cost. Itong diagonal or slanting line represents the variable cost. Meaning, changing siya in every change in activity. So, example, a water company charges a fixed amount of 200 pesos for using less than or equivalent to 500 gallons of water on a given month. So, the... Fixed cost here is 200 pesos, okay? If you consume more or less, okay, uh, no, equivalent or less than 500 gallons. If you will consume more than that, doon na magsisibula si variable cost. Also, the company imposes an additional 1 peso charge for each gallon consumed more than the 500 gallon base. So the fixed component in a given scenario is 200 pesos, okay? Ayan. Charge for consuming less than or equivalent to 500 gallons, while the variable component is the additional 1 peso. Okay? For consuming more than 500 gallons of water on a given month. So, ang exam, pinaka-perfect example for mixed cost is yung water bill natin. May fixed component siya. If sumobra tayo sa consumption, for example, 500 gallons in the problem, then mag -i increase siya per consumption natin. So, sa problem, 1 peso, okay, for each gallon consumed. So, that's the concept of mixed cost. Actually, we will be having a separate problem here, how to separate mixed cost. Mixed cost in the sense that it is fixed and it has also variable components. Okay? How about step cost? Ayan. When we say step cost, these costs remain unchanged or constant for a given level of output and then increase by a fixed amount of a higher level of output. Example, from one level of output to another higher level. Ayan, nakikita nyo naman sa graph, step cost talaga siya. Okay? An example of this is a salary of supervisors in a factory. Okay? So depending upon the period up to which the expense can be kept up a certain level in spite of the increase in activity, the height, and width of the steps vary. So if the steps are small and narrow, okay, the behavior of cost is like that of pure variable cost. It is called step variable cost. On the other hand, if the steps are wider, okay, the cost is like that of a fixed cost. So this is called step cost. Ayan, ang example dyan is salary of a supervisor. Okay? So, we have another example here. Okay? I will just uh, uh, state it. In a goods importing company where the freight charge of 1,000 pesos will have an additional 1,000 pesos for every one cubic meter. 
So, nagsa-step up siya with a constant, ano, uh, with a constant range, okay, for each time they deliver. And so, that's how a step cost, okay, works. Ayan. nag increase siya variably kasi nga, ano siya, uh, nag increase naman siya per variable cost or per production, pero equal yung increase niya. Ayan, kaya siya tinawag na step cost. Another example niya yan, supervisor salary in a factory. Uh, sa mga institutions then or some uh, companies, ayan, kapag nag-pro-promote sila in every promotion, so in every level of promotion, for example, nagbibigay sila ng equal increase per level. So that's step cost. Okay, variable siya pero fix yung uh, increase niya per production. Okay? So there you have it. I hope that you have learned something out from the lesson. Okay, see you next meeting and have a great day.